from such a mature ending where Ahsoka left the Jedi Order, where Anakin was heartbroken, where she felt like she had to go out and find her own destiny, and then coming up with a crash landing on Rafa's platform, and, and ensuing in a bunch of childish antics where she uses the Force in such a eh moment, and the music swells, and it's this huge ass thing. I, I just, uh, I don't get what this episode, these two episodes at least, are trying to do. What up everyone, it's Kirtan Singh and I am back with a brand new video. So we are two episodes in, into the return of Ahsoka in the final season of The Clone Wars and I'm here to talk about it. So as you can tell from that intro itself, my views on these two episodes aren't that great. I think they're fine episodes on their own, just fine, because we've had episodes like this where it's slow, it's filler kind of, and it doesn't really add too much to the overall story in the Clone Wars series before. Prime example I can think of is the one where the Gungans and the General Grievous and some of the droids fight on Naboo. Season 4 or 5 this happened and I thought it was really cool as a kid seeing the Gungans fight because this episode makes Gungans out to look better than they are. It has them, one of them conduct a sacrifice and stuff um, and then it shows how much willing Padme is to sacrifice the politics and the war for Anakin itself. But then the episode also has some really terrible moments in the fact that General Grievous loses to Gungans and the fact that the one that sacrifices himself sacrifices himself for nothing can do can Anakin fight again and Anakin is saved for just it's so stupid the reasons and stuff making the episode bad and not really fit in well with such a good season. The same thing applies here we have an episode in this case two episodes because I'm talking about episode five and episode six and the episodes are yeah, like the story it doesn't feel like it's a bad story but as the return of Ahsoka from the ending we had in season five where she left the Jedi Order she had nothing else left she showed growth as a character she knew that the Jedi had their issues and she had to go out and do their own thing this is just such a childish way to reintroduce and have it go on antics. And the fact that in episode 5, she doesn't really use the force when she needs to or use any of her Jedi powers, when she can easily, you know, stop the robot from going on a rampage, or easily help Rafa from shutting it down, just because Rafa said a few bad things about the Jedi. Clearly, Ahsoka wouldn't act like that in season 5. She would know that, um, you know, even though the Jedi aren't doing all that great things to the average person, they're still doing good out there from a certain point of view at least, a certain point of view she's held for most of her life. And it's not easy to just wave that away like that. And she's clearly showing struggle, I know that it's clear, but when you carry on into episode 6 then and you see that, you know, she obviously has all this knowledge that she's showing off, and not showing off, but she's showing to Rafa and Trace, but then you have the moment where she mentions Skywalker and it's like, Skywalker, General Skywalker, he was used in so much publicity in Coruscant and in, during the war because he's the greatest general, he's, you know, such a good Jedi and everything. But then, how doesn't Trace know that name? Because, you know, even though this is the Underworld, we've seen grimier versions looking like of the Underworld before in previous seasons. And this seems so clean, even if they go up above, Trace wasn't like, whoa, astounded by the fact of what up above Coruscant look like and stuff. It's just, yeah, it doesn't really fit well within the whole series. It doesn't fit well within this final season. It feels too much like filler and considering there are 12 episodes, it feels so unnecessary. I don't really like the characters of Trace and Rafa and Ahsoka I already like. She looks a little too different from my opinion. She looks like she's had such a growth spurt, but you know, animation's changed over the few years. So I can give that a pass. So what I'm trying to imagine is how this is going to carry on directly with the Siege of Mandalore in the final four episodes of this season. And I can only imagine that because we know in this episode, episode 6, um, Deal or No Deal I believe it's called, we have Ahsoka and Anakin sense one another when they're in the transport and I'm confused as to what Anakin's doing on Coruscant considering this is like days or weeks before Revenge of the Sith so he really should be back um, doing the siege at the Outer Rim, in the Outer Rim, but you know, I, I, you know, I'm sure it'll be explained sometime. They have this Force connection, 
and Anakin lets her go? Like, this is the Anakin who at this state is meant to be really emotional, is meant to be really sensitive. Like, we saw how angry he was against Admiral Trench and everything. We see how in a few days or weeks, whatever the timeline is, he's gonna be so willing to leave the Jedi Order and sacrifice so much for Padme. His Padawan's right there. We had him, you know, subtly feel such a loss losing her. And what we can only suppose is few days to a few weeks since she left he's willing to let her go and not hail the ship down and see how she's doing and you know try to convince her to come back who knows what he might try to do but it seems that he would like he would act on his emotions based on the skywalker we know with that all said and done like that's probably the highlight of these past two episodes seeing all these references between ahsoka and anakin and even in one of the arcs that they never finished but they released online Anakin and Obi-Wan have a short conversation about Ahsoka and you can still see that Anakin's still distraught over it so I just really want to know what's going on in his mind. This four arc series, this is clearly, you know, setting up another episode or two to go but I wonder how it's going to connect to the Siege of Mandalore arc. As we know off the trailers itself, that's going to be the first time Anakin sees Ahsoka in a while even though he sensed her in Deal or No Deal this episode 6 of the final season. He's gonna, they can see that in that trailer, that's when they first see each other again. And Ahsoka is with Bo-Katan. So I'm trying to imagine that whatever's going on with Rafa and Trace will lead to Death Watch being involved. And as we saw in The Mandalorian, the Death Watch do help people in this case. So maybe she runs into Bo-Katan and the Death Watch helping someone. Who knows, maybe it's the same planet where Din Djarin is when he's getting saved. And maybe that's how Ahsoka ties into the season two of The Mandalorian. Who knows? But... If they somehow interact there and that's how Ahsoka knows about the Siege of Mandalore and knows that shit, something has to be done and that overwhelming need to really help people which she clearly still has in these episodes will probably take over and then she'll probably go back and fight along Captain Rex and everyone else. But overall, these two episodes, episode 5 and episode 6 of the final season of Star Wars The Clone Wars which return Ahsoka to The Clone Wars itself, to television and everything was pretty disappointing. I remember being my whole family, we were all really disappointed in episode 5 which was the return of Ahsoka and then this episode itself, episode 6, was alright at best. So overall I give these two episodes just an alright, you know, I'm not gonna ever give it a number grade, I'm just gonna say that they were alright. The Bad Batch arc was much better, that at least introduced the Bad Batch to the general public which they can later use in future you know, shows and future comics, you know, considering the clones do go AWOL and stuff. Two episodes that we've seen so far, I can't really see myself invested in Rafa and Trace, and I can't really see myself satisfied with what we've seen of Ahsoka. So with that all said and done, make sure you hit that like button, subscribe to my channel, leave a comment down below on what you think about the Clone Wars, the return of Ahsoka with episode 5 and episode 6. And until next time, I'll see you guys.